have all pillars camp so I'm trying to defend them our your wife is running away left was attacking I'm using my first kill I'm using my first kill to slow down enemies using my ulti to generate additional pillars and using the second skill to make them explode they generate so much burst damage I can kill those two enemies very easily hello everybody this is a strategy on Triss Marigold the new hero and um, she's a ranged mage with quite high um, health um, HP HP point um, for a range hero and she has also quite high attack damage and um, um, quite high attack speed of 100 only Philippa has uh, of um, range heroes has an attack speed of 100 uh, all the others have attack speed of 90 but she has the lowest attack range of 5.5 you know Aethna and Yorvev have 6.2 so her armor and resistance uh, are 7 at the beginning which is quite high for a range hero but she has the lowest movement speed of 260 only Succubus has uh, such a low movement speed now she's basically a mage with a lot of aoe damage and her first kill is reflection of ice where tris um, is basically an aoe damage skill but besides dealing damage in a radius of um, 3.5 normally uh, it will also generate um, maximum of one ice stagers so um, and this ice stature will stay for 10 seconds in the game so if you hit one enemy with this skill it will generate one ice stature if you hit three enemies with this skill aoe skill it will still generate only one ice stagers this is important because her ulti works a little bit different now um the best thing about this skill is the big slowdown. Normally it's 20%, but you can set it up to additional 20%, so you'll slow down 40%. Now, this skill has a cooldown of 3%, uh, 3 seconds, and I think the um, the cool, the slow will also last 3 seconds, so basically you can slow down the enemies by 40%, and um, then um then you can catch them up hit them one two times then again slow them down hit them one two times and the best is when you are playing with an ally that where you slowing down and your ass are hitting the enemy he basically won't be able to run away um be because um he'll be slowed down really um a lot you know if it, it if it is a fast hero of 300 he will be slowed down to 180 and movement speed of 180 and 300 it's a, that's a big difference um so um, the second skill as a thunder will make those ice statues explode but they have to be close because the radius is normally only 2.5 but i even decrease it to 2 and um, the um, ice stages won't explode at the same time they will explode with a slight delay and each um, next explosion will only do 15 percent or will do 15 percent less damage than the the previous one so the damage from each explosion will be less but still quite high now her ulti has a range a uh, radius of 12 and um, so it's a big aoe da damage skill that will uh, be cast around her you cannot ca cast it somewhere it will automatically be cast around her and it will do a lot of damage plus it will pull the enemies close to closer to um to tris and normally it's a pull of two but i change it to just a pull of one 
and um, it has a cooldown of 50 um, seconds and for every hero that is hit by the skill enemy hero you will generate one eye statue so unlike unlike the first skill well it's always one eye statue doesn't matter if it's one or or three hero enemy heroes this skill will f uh, generate w one um eye statue for for your um for every enemy he heroes so how to use all those free skill in combinations you know the best thing is to use the first skill hit an enemy and then after that use your ulti if you're in a team fight three on three you will generate one ice statue with the first one and three ice statues with the uh, f with her ulti now so you have two four ice statues and if they're close together you can make all those four ice statues explode and do really a lot of damage so in, in a short uh, duration of time and this will be still uh, aoe damage so it's quite nice now um how to what gear to run tris i think because her power multiplies for the first and second skill are only 20 it makes no sense in my opinion to uh, to increase power so rings are not really a good option because if you get you have 161 damage with this first skill let's say you get a ring that will give you 150 power now 150 power with a 20 percent power multiplier will, in, will increase your damage by 30 so you will do 191 instead of 161 it's not a big difference every three seconds you can get free 30 additional damage so um, that's 10 damage per second if you buy a basic uh, sword for 350 crowns you get 10 damage per second from your normal attack so I think it makes no sense um, but Triss problems are mana regeneration she doesn't have enough mana to use all her skills so you have to increase her mana regeneration if you want to use her skills and not using her skill makes no sense second of all she's squishy you know she still even with the slightly higher armor and resistance slightly higher uh, hp than average heroes she's still squishy and um she has no escape me mechanisms she cannot save herself with a black hole hole like operator she cannot blink out like um like your vef so um and she's the slowest of all, all heroes so you basically want to increase her armor resistance or hp or you want to increase her speed and mana regeneration so that's why i right now run her with glass that gives um, 0 0.8 percent for resistance um, mana regeneration and armor especially the mana regeneration i think you at least need one epic um epic uh, gear with 3.75 percent mana regeneration per level and I also use this um, boots to increase the movement speed. Now, um, let's go into a game and show you some gameplay how to play here. In this gameplay, I'm playing uh, with Triss against an enemy Lefo, Geralt, and Yorvev. On my team is Zoltan, played by Peru and and both played by your wife i joined in 10 seconds too late into this game so i'm catching up to um to help them in the middle pillar and my aoe damage helps and uh, Geralt tries to run away but he's slowed down by my pillars the 40 percent slow is quite nice 
first I try to run trace as a, a maximum LE dealer because the dev said you know she's a hero that with massive LE damage so I try to increase the radius of her uh, AOE skills mm, but um, I think it's not really the best way I think Mm, using the 40% slow is way more helpful and decreasing the AOE mm, because the AOE doesn't help you in a one-on-one -on -one fight and the big slowdown of 40% helps you um, you know to to catch uh, enemies to also helps you to save um, save your um, allied uh, allied uh, heroes when they're chased by an enemy you can hit them and they won't be able to to um, catch up to your uh, allies heroes anymore so here again your vef is being chased but um, i can slow down the enemy Geralt and so he cannot ca ca catch uh, our your vef so i basically saved him and here we went uh, two on one and was able to kill the enemy now i'm running away from Leffo and um, Zoltang helps me out here and um, i'm using my healing potion i run um, the healing potion because i think the healing potion just gives you this safe where you you know you're attacked you're bursted down by the enemies or you you know you get into a two one situation you can save yourself you can run tris with the potion of refreshment which will give you a 25 percent heal and a five percent heal of hp and mana of over five seconds but sometimes it's just not enough to save you after an attack of the enemy like like a level's cliff attack and um i think um the extra mana regeneration isn't that important if you have an epic gear with um with mana regeneration um so uh, here i'm trying to slow down the enemy level but he's running away and so um uff is attacking me and i'm going back now he blinked in i'm able to use my healing potion going against Geralt but here comes Leffo with his cleave and um, I'm not able to uh, to survive that now that's why I like the high resistance because Leffo's cleave art combo and for example Philippa's ulti that's like two things I die uh, often from with Triss so I think high resistance is important um, I not I do not die so often from normal attacks of of the of enemy heroes. Now, you can go with the golden armor mm, uh, with uh, with this uh, with Triss, but um, then you will have to use two legendaries at least in my opinion that will increase the movement speed because. Uh, just trace without any legendaries that increase movement speed she will have a movement speed of 220 that's just too slow you know um, she while she be tankier she uh, won't be able to move from pillar to pillar fast enough and, and you know when she gets caught by uh, on a two on one or three on one situation she just won't be able to escape and here's a good example how i killed two enemy heroes Leffo and Geralt and also help uh, to kill your wife. I used my first kill um, to for one stature use my ulti to get additional statures and then made them explode which killed the enemies here heroes but after that Leffo arranged uh, avenge his his death and again the cleave art combo is just uh, brutal against any range hero and Triss is not different that's like i said the problem with her that she has no escape mechanism no blink no black hole like operator does to save him and um, so um basically that's it 
and that's just we just won and you can see the power of um, of truth like i said two most important things is the slowdown is generating ice statures with your first and uh, third skill and making them those ice statures explode and um, which will give a lot of per quick aoe um, damage now um, I went let's let's look at the board I went 25-2 and we won this game by a landslide against three players uh, thank you for listening